Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. For about 135 million years, dinosaurs were the undisputed rulers of the Earth. And they might still have been today, if not for the cataclysmic comet that struck the Earth some 65 million years ago. However, our planet has been around for a lot longer than the dinosaurs reign. And as it turns out, nature has been quite adept at producing nightmare-inducing monsters other than dinosaurs. To think that dinosaurs are the only scary inhabitants of our prehistoric past would be a big, big mistake. From ocean dwellers far bigger than great whites, to sky dwellers bigger than giraffes, to an elephant-sized sloth, here are seven of the scariest and most fascinating prehistoric creatures. Number 7. Sarcosicus This gargantuan predator is colloquially called supercroc, which gives you an idea of what it looked like. Not technically a crocodile, the Sarcosicus was actually its distant relative, the primary difference being their size. This crocodile lived on Earth 112 million years ago. Fossils indicate that this crocodilian could be almost 40 feet long, which was almost twice as long as the saltwater croc, the biggest crocodile we have today. It also weighed around 8 metric tons, which meant that it could take on almost any challenger it faced. And that's a good thing because Sarcosicus lived alongside the dinosaurs, who often became its lunch. Number 6. Arthopleura This was an ancestor to millipedes and centipedes, and could grow up to 8 feet long. Although some sources claim it could grow even longer. Contrast that size to a modern-day centipede, which grows around 10 inches long. They could also measure several feet wide, which would make for a scary sight to say the least. Because of its massive size, it's thought the creature had few predators, despite it being an invertebrate. It is, in fact, the largest invertebrate species ever uncovered, by a wide margin. Arthopleura looked like it could be a predator itself, but it was actually a herbivorous arthropod. And fossilized evidence indicates it could move pretty fast across the forest floor, swerving to avoid rocks and trees. It lived around 300 million years ago, throughout present-day North America and Scotland. Number 5. Titanoboa 60 million years ago, in the mysterious era after the mass extinction of the dinosaurs, scientists believed that a colossal snake related to modern boa constrictors ruled a lost world. With exclusive access to what one scientist called a once-in-a-lifetime discovery, the startling discovery of Titanoboa was made by a team of scientists working in one of the world's largest open-pit coal mines at Sarahan in La Guajira, Colombia. It is a snake that dwarfs the largest anaconda found today, and it has the size and character to challenge T-Rex in the public's imagination. The story behind this significant scientific revelation began in 2002, when a Colombian student visiting the coal mine made an intriguing discovery, a fossilized leaf that hinted at an ancient rainforest in the Paleocene Epoch. Together with their research teams, Jonathan Block of the Florida Museum of Natural History, University of Florida, and Carlos Jaramillo of the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, joined forces with one of the world's foremost expert in ancient snakes, Jason Head of the University of Nebraska, to unlock the mysteries of this ancient time and discover exactly how Titanoboa appeared, lived, and hunted. The scientists managed to uncover not just one, but fragments of three skulls, allowing them to derive for the first time what this ancient giant looked like. A scientifically accurate, life-sized replica of Titanoboa was displayed at the National Museum of Natural History. Number 4. Gigantopithecus Tales of giant humanoids have abounded for millennia. Giants are fiction and fantasy and historical lore. However, you may be surprised to know that giants aren't fictional, and unlike the Loch Ness Monster, their existence is backed up by science. From 9 million to 100,000 years ago, a species of primate lived in Asia that grew up to 10 feet tall and weighed up to 1,300 pounds. This species is called Gigantopithecus, and it is thought to have resembled either a gorilla or an orangutan. Scientists' uncertainty doesn't end at this creature's appearance. Only a small number of these apes' fossils have been uncovered, so details about its lifestyle and diet are ambiguous. In fact, its size was also in question, with some scientists believing Gigantopithecus measurements to be greatly exaggerated. 
Greatly exaggerated or not, Gigantopithecus would and did dwarf humans. Because unlike most of the creatures in this video, Gigantopithecus existed alongside Homo sapiens. We wonder if there were any conflicts, even though we don't really want to think of our ancestors' fate. Number 3. Quetzalcoatlus Let's quickly dispel a myth. Despite being featured in every dinosaur movie and TV show ever, the pterodactyl was not a dinosaur. It was a pterosaur, a completely different order from dinosaurs. But even the pterodactyl wasn't the most dangerous thing in the skies. That honor goes to Quetzalcoatlus, the largest creature ever to fly. The problem is that due to poor fossil records, we don't know exactly how big it was. Modern estimates place its wingspan at around 35 feet, while earlier estimates were much more generous at more than 60 feet. The beak itself measures 8 feet, which is used to spear prey just as large as humans. Weight is even more difficult to measure, but scientists think they weighed between 450 and 550 pounds. Number 2. Megalodon Sharks near the top of the list of most commonly held phobias. And even if you're not scared of sharks in absentia, you become a shark of your own when you enter the ocean. Maybe it doesn't happen every time you swim, or maybe it's just for a second. But that unsettling feeling will come to the surface of your mind, just like Jaws did to attack swimmers. The scariest shark to modern humans is the Great White, an imposing species that can exceed up to 20 feet and 4,000 pounds. But what our ancestors had to fear in the water was three times the length and 20 times the weight. Megalodon lived from 23 to 2.6 million years ago, and it's the largest shark species in the fossil record. Resembling a robust great white, Megalodon was the apex predator of the world's oceans, prang, whales, and other marine giants. Megalodon has been paid much media attention in recent years, which has expanded its mythos considerably. Though the media has taken more than a few liberties regarding the shark's appearance and behavior, the fossils don't lie. Megalodon was bigger and badder than most dinosaurs, and its occupancy of the deep dark ocean makes it so much more terrifying. Number 1. Terror Bird A name like Terror Bird doesn't leave much to the imagination. This creature, a flightless bird larger than an ostrich, was a terrifying specimen in size, appearance, and behavior. Standing nearly 10 feet tall and weighing up to half a ton, terror birds were the baddest predators on South American plains during the Cenozoic era. They emerged just after the dinosaurs went extinct, and they evolved to dominate all mammals and reptiles, thanks to the top-of-the-line equipment the natural selection had endowed them with. Terror birds had powerful legs for sprinting, a giant beak for breaking bones and tearing apart flesh, and clawed wings for grasping its prey. Terror birds comprised many different species, as this was an era in which terrestrial flightless birds were not laughingstocks, but rather the most formidable hunters on Earth. Terror birds range for over 60 million years before going extinct approximately 1.8 million years ago. This is when pre-humans began to emerge. This may have been the luckiest miss in the history of our species. Do you know of any other non-dinosaurs that fit the bill? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.